Hello everybody. It's been a while since I've done a Final Cut Pro tutorial and people ask me, you got part 1 through 4 of your series from start to finish in Final Cut Pro, but where's part 5? And to be honest with you, you know, these videos were made before YouTube was posting to HD and, and I've lost some of them, but I happened to come across part 5 and I'm going to post it for you, so it's not going to be in HD and if I can get it to be in HD it might not look right, so it just depends on the looks of it of how it's going to get posted. So excuse the quality of part 5 when it is posted. Um, and this video is just kind of a prelude to that video. In that video we're going to go over all of our tools in our little tool uh, menu. In this video we're going to go over some of the keyboard shortcuts that correlate to those tools over here. And when you watch these videos back to back, this one being first, you'll understand, okay? As you can see, you don't need to worry about my edits up here. You know, I've, you can look at this and see I have a frame viewer up, and it I can go back and forth between filter and non-filter. You don't need to worry about all this. This is not why we're here, okay? And truth be told, I should have had it set up to the to the standard layout before I started this video, but unfortunately, my mind wasn't working, and I just started recording kind of on the fly. But as you can see here, I have three clips in my timeline. There's a, there there's a cut here, there's a cut here, you can see all the cuts because of their little red arrows indicating them, okay? And we're going to go through some of our keyboard shortcuts to help kind of like with video selecting and video trimming and, and selecting edit points and stuff like that, okay? So the first thing we're going to talk about is our V key, okay? Let me put my playhead about right here, okay? Now if I hit the V key, you can see, boom, it takes me to the nearest edit. If I put it here and hit the V key, boom, it takes me to the nearest edit. Okay? So, if you have your playhead parked close to an edit and you want to automatically jump to that edit without having to come up here and drag your playhead, just hit the V key, boom, and it jumps right to the nearest edit. And you can see when it jumps to the nearest edit, it also selects the edit. Now with the edit selected, which I can select any edit by going in here and selecting the edit, okay? With the edit selected, if I hit the U key, if you look real close, it switches between the uh, clip on the right or the clip on the left or both of them. So the U key switches between what which end edit you you pick. Do you want the very the edit of the clip on the left, the end or do you want the beginning of the clip on the right? Or do you want both by using the U key? Okay, remember the V, V as in victory, selects the nearest edit. And U, the U key toggles between selecting the end point, the out point, or both. As you can see down here, it's selecting end point, out point, or both. Okay, now the reason this is important is, if I can zoom up here a little bit. Now the reason this is important is because depending on what edit point you have selected, the in or the out, will determine how you trim. So if I use the um, the comma key for instance, the comma key trims the selected edit point left one frame at a time, okay? So if I hit the comma key, it's going to trim this left one frame at a time. As you can see in my viewport, it's changing. Okay, you can see it trimming forward there. Now I'm getting a little gap in between here. Okay, now if I use the period key, the period key trims the selected edit point right one frame at a time. So the, the comma key's left one frame and the period key's right one frame. Now I hit the period key, you can see I'm trimming it back in here. Okay, so we'll put these back together where they was. Like so. Okay. Now if you use the shift with the you know left or right greater than or less than symbols, it trims left or right by multiple frames. And and by default it's five frame increments. And you can set that in your pre in your preferences. So if you select an edit with the you, you let's say you use the V key to go to your nearest edit, you use the U key to select the endpoint of this edit here, and then you use the comma key to trim it one frame at a time or the period key to trim it one frame at a time or like I said you can use the shift and the greater than and less than and you can see up top you can see it's doing it 
trimming five frames at a time. Okay. Now we're going to talk about our extend edit here. Let's go to the end of our clip. By hitting Shift Z and Shift Z will zoom everything into the timeline. As you can see here, we have a few edits, and they're all different lengths from one another. Okay. Well, if I come down here and just select this edit, okay, now this edit is selected. I'm going to park my playhead about right there, and if I hit the E key, E as in Eric, hit the E key, boom, it extends that edit out to where my playhead is. Okay. Alternatively, I could select all three of these edits by control clicking, or I'm in com uh, command clicking. That way you can select multiple edits, okay? And when I park, let's park my playhead about right here, out from all three of them. And if I hit the E key, boom, it takes all three of them and extends their edits right to my playhead. The E key is a really, really, really great keyboard shortcut. So remember, Let's go ahead and undo that. You hit the A key to have your selection tool, which is your regular arrow. You select the edit points you want. If you want to select multiple edit points, you use the command key. Okay. You move the playhead to where you want the new edit to occur. And then you hit the E key. And again, E, boom. Pretty slick little keyboard shortcut. Okay. What else can there be? Of course, the I key sets an endpoint. As you can see, I hit the I key. That puts a little blue arrow there. And of course, the O key sets an out point. I'm not sure if we went over this in the earlier videos. Okay. Now, if we hit Shift I, it's going to jump the playhead to the end point. If I hit Shift O, it's going to jump the playhead to the out point. Okay. So I can set my in and out points with I and O. Then I can use Shift I and Shift O to jump between them. Okay. Now, Option I clears your end point. Option O clears your out point in case you want to set a new one. And if you have them both set and you want to clear them both out, Option X clears them both out. Okay? Uh, is there anything else? There's a few more things I want to talk about. As I said before, the A key selects the arrow tool, which is this here. This little tool here. The G, as in Go, selects edit points only. Okay? If I hit the G key and marquee drag around my clip, you can see the only thing it's selecting are the edit points, nothing else. You can see I marquee drag, there's the, all three of those edit points are selected. But it's not selecting the clip, okay? So now if I hit the, remember that's the G key. Now if I hit the G key two times, GG, okay? It's going to get let me select the clip without being able to move a clip, okay? Which corresponds to this over here. Group selection, okay? So if I, I'm in my uh, selection tool. If I hit GG twice, as in go, double G, go go. It brings up my select clips. I can go in here now. I can like marquee drag and select my clips, okay? Alternatively, we can keep going. We can hit. GGG three times, and what GGG does is let you select a portion of your clip. So I can just click and drag just that little portion there. What if I just want that little portion? There, I'm selected and dragged that little portion. What if I just want this little portion? Or this little portion? And I can delete that portion by hitting the delete key. Boom. Okay? So this is a really handy keyboard shortcut. GGG lets you sh click and just drag around a specific range. And if you want to apply an effect to just that range or delete just that range, it's a great little tool. Now this is the keyboard shortcuts corresponding with them. In our video of part 5, as I said, we're going to actually come over here and actually go over the tools. These are kind of just the keyboard shortcuts associated with those tools. Okay. Now, if we hit the T key, the T key selects all clips on the same track to the right of where this tool is clicked. Okay, so if I hit the T key, I get this little arrow. If I click, boom, it selects all clips to the right, or as you notice, the direction of the arrow. Okay? If I hit T twice, you can see I'm selecting backwards every clip in the direction of the arrow from where I click on. Okay? 
if I hit T three times, it's going to select all the clips on a track, not just to the left or right. Okay. Oh, this goes a lot further. If I hit T four times, now you can see there's two double arrows, which means wherever I click, it's not just going to select one track, it's going to select all my tracks from where I click forward. Okay? Same way, if I, can, if I hit the T key five times, it's going to select all the clips back from where I selected, from where I click. Okay? So I'm sorry, I know that's hard to, 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 to get. Okay, the T key selects all clips in the direction of the arrow from where you click. Okay, so if I click here, it's going to select all these clips forward. Here, it's going to select all these clips forward. Here, it's just going to select these clips on this single track. T twice, it's the same thing, only backwards. T three times selects all clips on a track, both ways. Okay. T four times selects in the direction of the arrow from where you click all tracks instead of just one track and T five times does the same thing backwards. Okay? You might have to watch that a couple times to really get a uh lowdown of that. If I hit command A, it selects all clips in my sequence, selects everything. If I hit shift command A, it deselects everything. If I have something selected, shift command A, deselects. Kind of like just clicking in the gray portion there, okay? If you control click the red flag of an out of sync clip with the selection tool, it's going to it moves into sync and it will move an out of sync clip back into sync. I'm not sure if I have anything in here to demonstrate that. Let's see here. Let's scroll down. Let's drop a clip in with some audio. Now if I control click this little red marker which is telling me, hey, this is out of sync. If I control click it, it's going to say move into sync. And I say move into sync, and boom, it syncs them bad boys up for me. Pretty nice, huh? So if you have a clip with audio that's out of sync, just remember. Control click the red out of sync, letting you know that it's out of sync. Say move into sync, and boom, it moves into sync. You can also move others into sync. Okay? And if you option click with the selection tool, it's going to kind of select just the audio or just the video of a linked clip. Like if you have a clip that's linked and I select it, it's, it selects both audio and video, okay, if your clips are linked together. And if they're not, if you don't want that and you don't want to come up here and select your delink command, just hold the option key and you can select one or the other. See, there's that one, that one, and now they're linked. I select one. It selects the audio corresponding with it. Or I can just select this, all using the option key. So I can select the audio along with my video clip, or I can just select each individual. Okay? And those are a few rundowns of the keyboard shortcuts that we're going to go over in our next video. I apologize way ahead of time that the next video is going to be kind of low on quality and, and stuff like that. So I apologize. If it's that bad, I'll have to go in and redo it, but I'm going to post it and just let it fly and then start working on part six, um, the next part of Soundtrack Pro from start to finish. Maybe I'll throw a color tutorial in here or there. There's so much to do and so little time, so thank you guys for bearing with me, and thanks for watching. See you next time.